market risk so this is part of module b in bank financial management and in this lecture we are going to discuss the market risk there are many banking transactions which are exposed to market risk not one but many transactions which expose the bank to market risk all these transactions are reflected in trading book of the bank so there is a banking book and there is a trading book and transactions that expose the bank to market risk they are reflected in trading book now these transaction cover number 1 debt securities like debentures like bonds equity like shares then foreign currency or foreign exchange commodities like gold and derivatives so all these are part of trading book these assets are held by banks with a trading intention so banks want to take advantage of difference between their purchase price and sale price so they bank they, the banks keep on holding these assets these investments so these are held with intent to trade intent to sell and buy which risk is trading book exposed to so trading book is exposed to number 1 market risk number 2 liquidity risk comprising asset liquidity risk and market liquidity risk and then credit and counterparty risk so these are the various risks to which the trading book is exposed to market risk liquidity risk credit and counterparty risk what is meant by market risk market risk means the risk of adverse deviations of the market to market value of trading portfolio and this happens due to market movements during the period required to liquidate the transactions so bank is holding investments bank has made investment in bonds or gold and there can be adverse deviation of the market value of these assets because of market movements during that period which is taken to liquidate these transaction to dispose of these transactions to sell the gold to sell foreign currency what is meant by trading liquidity trading liquidity means the ability to liquidate positions without affecting their prices and without attracting attention of other market participants so the trading liquidity is ability of the bank to liquidate the positions in securities positions in gold position in foreign currency but without number 1 affecting their price and secondly without attracting attention of other market participants how the liquidation risk arises liquidation arises risk arises from poor trading liquidity and results in adverse change in the market prices so if there is poor trading liquidity in the market it becomes difficult to liquidate the position and that is the result of adverse change in market prices what is meant by counterparty risk or credit risk and how it arises as part of market risk 
so credit risk in the traded debt instruments like bonds debentures is reflected in credit rating done by rating agencies the rating agencies may downgrade those bonds or those debentures those investments lower the credit risk lower is the spread over risk free rate at higher credit risk spread increases over the risk free rate so whenever risk is low the spread is also low when risk is high the spread can also be high how do credit risk arise credit risk arises due to default by issuer due to rating migration the lower rating results into decline in value of the instrument for example if bond rated triple a is subsequently rated as double a it can create a problem so it reduces the value of the instrument and credit risk arises due to default by issuer due to the rating migration if rating goes from double a to only a there can be some problem of default also credit risk on derivatives it arises when market to market value is negative when market to value is positive the counterparty is exposed to credit risk so credit risk on derivative arises when mark to market value is negative and when mark to market value is positive the counterparty is exposed to credit risk thank you friends for watching this video for this complete video and complete gib gib cib gib online course or bank promotion exam please log in our website or you can call us or you can email us wish you all the best and thank you once again